What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Scrubs episode number 12 of season number one, My Blind Date. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Links are in the description where you can get episodes early. You can get episodes for $1, full reaction, uncut, and edited. Pretty much just like this, but you get a lot more. Um, remember, this is a commentary, so watch uh, the episode before you watch me, because I will be doing a lot of talking. A lot of commenting, a lot of, uh, oh, oh, my dams, you know, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of laughing. If you don't like my, la like my laugh, my laugh is my laugh. Can't uh, really hide that. So if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Hopping in here, hopefully having a good time. We are, I don't really have much else to say. I mean, last episode I thought was pretty all right. Hit us with the real stuff. I'm starting to get the vibe that a lot of you have told me that this is the most realistic take on, um, on what a hospital environment is. Not Grey's Anatomy, not house, not any, not ER. I can't really think of many hospital shows, but that this one really does give you a vibe of what a hospital is. And there have been episodes where I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. And the comedy is very different. And I like it It's because it does feel like certain things. And they, instead of just saying they feel that way, they kind of show you in a very awkward, weird way. So I'm digging it. Pretty much. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Hey! What the hell? What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. What imaginary slight have you concocted oh, in that Look at this. brain of yours? Yeah, that would be a dick move. Put it back down before someone slips and falls. Oh, is that what I should do? Good. Because I make <laughs> most of my decisions based on your opinion. Oh. <laughs> Floor's wet, man. <laughs> They'll help over here. So take a knee if you need to, you confound it. I have been on what since he call them? midnight, so I stand here with my usual level of contempt for all of you. But I think I heard something, wrinkle, but I couldn't have heard what I heard. You may have noticed that all 27 of the patients that were here in the ICU when I started last night are still alive, and I damn sure intend for them to still be breathing when I get the hell out of here tonight at midnight. Why are you talking about baseball? Because you should never, ever jinx a pitcher when he has a chance to throw a perfect game my god barbie how do you put your bra and panties on in the morning <laughs> all by yourself it's remarkable <laughs> because he's the pitcher so many patients die here you start to think of death as just another co-worker always looking over your shoulder with the same annoying demands as everyone else you work with Dr. listen i know you're busy but my daughter's selling cookies put me down for two boxes of those mint thingies <laughs> second place in her troop. Of course, if that girl in first keeps doing as well as she's doing, we're just gonna take her. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up on every level. What exactly did you think you were gonna do? Cash it in? In your face. Top Gun reference? I was watching uh, Top Gun. Did you know that <laughs> Goose is actually the guy from ER? What are you doing? No, I didn't. But but please, keep talking. <laughs> you really do it. What are you doing? When the lunch lady asked you if you wanted french fries, you said no. Yeah, Ooh. but I wanted french fries. So why didn't you order fries? Because I can't have french fries. Duh. Well, you're eating his french fries. Tip what the? Have them all. I mean, every girl does that, right? That's like a thing, but why did Turkey so mad? But sir, I... Sacred Heart is calling for your help, sport. Will you accept Got to butter up the person that fell. Oh. Hello? Three. Oh. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Well, it just got so cold in here. I think <laughs> the swelling may have gone down. <laughs> yeah, I hope that hurts. But I pulled all the x-rays you asked for, so I am yours for the night. Do whatever you want with me. Oh, my God. Um, that totally came out wrong. Yeah. I just meant that I want you to use me, and I don't care how degrading it is. What? Oh, no, my no. Jesus, girl. No, Come, it's just that I you? know that you like torturing people, and I am totally up for that. Oh, is that a good sound? Not that good a sound. The fuck? Oh my god, is it stuck? Well, stuck is such a literal term. It's more like not moving. Oh, he's completely on top of me today. Do you know how much I wish Dr. Cox was on top of me? <laughs> That's naughty. <laughs> you make me so mad, I might actually scream. That is lunch. Cream, no sugar. He takes his sugar, no cream. Oh, this is the date. You're such a nice guy. Whoa, it really feels like there's something going on here. <laughs> the 
perfect game or not, giving a friend the chance to shine was just as important to me. Just Sir, it's... Uh, oh, he called him his friend. So he's making me babysit this patient downstairs. Newbie, it's the bottom of the ninth. If you're not going to be my catcher, just exactly who is? <laughs> oh, no. Don't say it. Perfect game. Don't say it. What part of don't say it did you not understand? He doesn't get it. Don't? Or was it the same? The superstition help me to help part of you, it. Barbie. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. <laughs> Nothing's wrong, and you sulk for a week, and then you finally tell me. First of all, we haven't known each other long enough for me to always be doing anything. Ooh. Well, I've only known you for 10 minutes, and you're always hurting me. Ow, that did it! Whew. Well, I guess we're done here. Damn. It's beyond the fries. I just can't think of what it Barbie. actually is. Stick with them. Shouldn't you? Should you? Should I? Should I? You'll have plenty of time to think about it on the bench because that's where you're headed. Now go. Give me this precious. Uh, go ahead. Go, go. She keeps Give doubting herself. <laughs> You know, I'm noticing the bottoms of your slippers are rather slippery. Wait, Perhaps you're like they contributed up her skirt, in some way bro. to the incident this morning. So, what uh, restaurant are you taking her to? <laughs> you know, you're not a bad guy if you want to wait and see what she looks like. <laughs> oh, I didn't think JD would be that superficial. You just gotta be straight with Carla, no matter how hard it is. Just quit, become a lesbian, and hook up with some hot model. What does that have to do with anything? Quitting, yeah, dumbass. Oh, I just thought it'd be hot. <laughs> Elliot, he's testing you. Recording. If you ever want Cox to respect you, you can't be afraid to disagree with him. The perfect game's going out the window. Perfect game. I mean, somebody is dead. Call it. There's just five minutes left and just the two of us here. Can we just wait? Just call it. Oh, we won't cheat the system. Owen! I'm gonna go crash at my place tonight, like you said. You wanna know what's wrong? That's what's wrong. I'm gonna go shit out of my house like you said. God, you're so sexy right now. I've been doing a lot of thinking. You, you boss me around in front of my friends. You said oh, strong shit. women turn you on. Forget about it. Look, we all know what you're gonna do, so why not be a man and do it so I can go home? Oh, shit. I love you. You annoy me more than I ever thought possible, but I want to spend every irritating minute with you. Damn. I'm thinking a lot lately about taking chances. He's gonna go take a chance on the girl. Full blood work up for the guy in 37. You can handle all that, right? Yeah. Good girl. Up on the second floor. Holy cow, this laundry list. Everybody's doing and something. No, it's really just about overcoming your fears. Stop the machine! What the hell are you doing? I love to. Now, what's she look like? Who do we have a her around? That black uh -huh. hair, right? Um, all right, well, that was episode number 12. Another really good, solid episode. Um, let me think about the things that went down in this episode. The references, the overall arching story. I want to give it a high seven or an eight around there. It's a, it, was, it was a lot of laugh out loud moments, but with this show, I don't know. It's like the episode, it really depends on the episode, but I like the story that was being told. I like the whole aspect of Dr. Cox. Going for his perfect game. I enjoyed all that, so I'm going to go for 7 to an 8. I like the whole reference to baseball where um, doctors essentially want to have their perfect games. I mean, he's like the chief of uh, something, so he's trying to get like on his like 24 hour watch, he didn't want to have any death, so I knew he wasn't going to get it though. But I like that the Elliot stuff where he was trying, where she was trying to like prove herself but she didn't know how to prove herself and so jd had to help her tell her exactly what she needs to do just take be confident take a charge i liked all that um i like cox's all one-liners his one-liners are amazing i don't did not understand this part with jd i mean with turk like i'm all for getting mad but he like he tossed his fries at her plate like what the hell bro calm down um so but i mean in the end we got we got we got a nice closure to that uh then we have the whole thing with the go the further beginning the lawsuit this guy's back i don't know we we're gonna have recurring patients coming in and out of the of the show that's pretty cool this guy from matt tv he didn't really add anything to it he kind of helped her a little bit may, not, may, maybe not even he just told her what was going to be happening because of the way that turk was acting act, acting um they have all this jd being the boy the dr cox's favorite um jd being all nervous about or wanting to go on a date with somebody without knowing what she looks like. 
I mean, I don't know. I, I thought that that wouldn't be JD. I didn't think he'd be that he'd be that super superficial, but I guess you know it is what it is. Um, let's see. Um, we have this. I'm saying sorry, then the bees, and then talking about go sleep at your own place. So, it was the essentially was the whole thing. So Turk's whole thing was he was treating her like crap because he was scared of because of how he felt about her because he was in love with her. So it was like this fear thing with him. Like he actually was scared. Interesting. Um, then we have the, what, did, what happened here again? What did he say here? Look, Dr. Cox, you can trust me. To oh yeah, the trust thing. Uh, then the whole, they, he was asking what the girl looked like, but nobody seemed to really give him a proper answer. Then we have her essentially saying something, then being nervous about it, asking, is that right? Is that like, the way I should do it? Like she was very, she was questioning everything. Which with Dr. Cox, you can't do that. You're just gonna piss him off. Cause he's gonna like, if you are doubting yourself, why should he trust you? You know what I mean? Which I respect that. Uh, what's here? Like this whole thing, man, he's looking right up her skirt, her little doctor's just but and no, oh, no, man, that was creepy. Let's see. The hospital, the whole therapy segment was pretty good where everybody was coming. And he was like, what the hell's going on here? I thought that was a pretty good segment. Her taking charge, her doing everything she has to do. But in the end, um, the guy, one of the patients died. Essentially, Elliot wanted it so bad for the doctor that she was like, we should treat her like, nobody's here. We could cheat it. Wait five minutes. But he, he's not about that. He lost somebody. It was weird that he got mad about losing the perfect game. More like... But, like, he's getting upset. There's actually somebody dead right in front of him. So that's interesting. Um, then we have the love part, which is interesting. And then the whole, will you go out with me? And then we don't see her face, which is a bold move. I'm guessing the poor girl we saw here, I guess this is her, right? I mean, this looks like it might be JD. Uh, but, yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was pretty good. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Head over to Patreon for the full uncut and edited reaction. Link in the description for that. You can definitely check it out. See if you enjoy it. Um, one dollar gets you episodes. So for one dollar a month, you get every episode on the day that they drop on YouTube. And you get them in full reaction form. So highly recommend checking that out. Yeah, but I have nothing else to say. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk to you guys later.